spawns are competitive. Like, almost any game. Unless you have a really, really supportive partner. And you bring in the money. So Yeah, that, that too. That too. Because we know Smash ain't paying. Let's be real. But let's also get into this game one of Grand Final. ZD come from winner's side and Pina come from losers. ZD sent Pina into losers a little bit earlier, if memory serves. Yeah, it was a... Uh, it wasn't the worst 3-0. We've... Moxie was the closest. We did see some of the games were like pretty sure some of them were two stocks, mm -hmm. but Peanut definitely showed you no know, moments of life in those games, and ZD had a little bit to rest. Peanut though coming off a you know, pretty convincing three one I'd say, especially after the you know final three stock. That's yeah, gonna that, be it. That last game was just one of those things. Where it was like okay, you are just hitting every button, and that last sequence right there is another one of those times. Where it was like okay, you you got it. But ZD is a hard player to keep down. Even though he got hit by that counter, you know, it shows that he was still willing to go out there. Nice. Yeah. Max tech rolls are so bad. <laughs> nice max, job, Cap Max on any that. A intro attribute. Yeah. It's outside of ground speed. Outside of ground speed. That's like it. Good tech follow up. So bad. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, but no matter what, every character got hit by one of the wolves' hitboxes there. That's true, yeah. But to get the front facing one that like gets the kill so easily. That's gonna be aerial version. Try to Zell punch from the uh ah. Yeah, you can't be a ho not holding shield whenever Wolf has his uh back to you. Yeah, back to you in the air. You just either not be there or just hold shield. Even not being there it doesn't even work because his air acceleration is so high. Let's see offstage, not get the back hit, but he the tried jumping from that ledge, and that was just an F tilt for him. Yeah. All right, even socks, and I love that little walk for from ZD, showing that he's just not afraid. There we go, should be a good punish. Nice, yeah, a little bit of custom combo right there, a quick 60%. If that forward air connected, that would have been back air into sock easily. Fourth throw, and gonna be able to attack roll there. Going underneath the uh, laser. Actually, hold Ooh. on, what do you do here? Oh my god! Oh, peanut! He always ha he always keeps that KO punch on him. He knows. He knows. And that was also he got it then after that F smash. So that was legitimately what ZD did after that moment. Like, after that downward angle with F smash is what does ZD do here? And he unfortunately got a uh, allowed himself to get hit by that down tilt, which, well, we saw what happened after that. Yep. I don't think he was anticipating the down angle force smash to come out too because I've seen like DI that up a few situations to avoid the tech chase. But that time, it looked like the DI up didn't really start to come out until a bit late. And that's why Peanut steals that game going back. And now, I mean, when you come from lose, that's huge, that's huge. Oh, yeah, and we're gonna see the Wolf as well. Not Wolf, the Wolf's switch uh, off. The Fox, which talk, talked about a little bit earlier. Bit of a, of a Japanese play, one would say, mm -hmm. for ZD. But I also do think it's, a lot of like a mental reset type thing. I feel like when he he plays Vox, it means that he uh, wants to start thinking more. Uh, and I feel like against we've seen if you're not thinking against Peanut, <laughs> he yeah. will make you pay for it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The thing is, like, I don't know. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. That, that's a bad counter, is what I meant to say. <laughs> Max counter sucks. I was talking about it in the other. That's just. That was, I'm gonna say it, kind of dumb. I feel like both those players should have died in that situation. Yeah, it was a the fact that none moment. of them did, he's dead. But the fact that none of them did in the original scuffle was kind of dumb. Yeah. Yep, yep. But I was just about to say, I like, I both like and dislike the Fox Switch right here because, like, on one hand, as you said, mental reset always helps. But on the other hand, do you need a mental reset after game one when you're coming from winner's side? Like, do you feel that much pressure from the other player in which you switch your guns that quick? We have seen how fast Peanut can uh, snowball off a, uh, even though it's off a game lead. If Z continues to uh, let him be doing Mackey things, uh, wow, then okay, what happens down the line? That is true. That is fair. Yeah. I guess you can't afford to let that ball get rolling too much. Go nice. down, so I'm catching the jump off the ledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really quick reaction right there. Now ZD three socks to one, sitting so comfortably, but you cannot, cannot rest just yet against Little Mac. And he's trying. There's the upbeat that Peanut does whenever he starts anticipating someone's gonna start 
going for combos. If they're not true, they you will get hit by that if that's not true. Because one thing, three frame three up smash. I'm mean, up smash. Up B. So uh, that's definitely a huge punish, especially if you're at a higher percent. Mm. Good patience. You're gonna hold a bit of damage right there. Not too close to ledge, so not gonna eat a ton, but you know, still reset the situation. Wait, no jump though. But you're gonna be able to get back. It looks like he tried to ledge trump into something and just gonna die for that. That angle was unholy. That was That's <laughs> also unfortunate because I think he must have hit the part of I think legs Fox right now, Fox's legs are invincible on yeah. down smash. Yeah. So that was he just he didn't even hit Fox, he hit the legs, which Yeah. Kinda can't. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen like that hip box. Well maybe Peanut was holding he might have been holding down to try and hop above ledge as well. I mean, so doesn't, like doesn't automatically do that. You don't snap, I thought. Um, you don't. It, you kind of don't. It's weird. It's weird. It's like, I, you can snap on the early part, like at the early part, and like um, at the very, very end, but you can't snap like at all in the middle. It's such a weird move. Yeah. Okay. So I think he was like trying to hold down just a little cheeky, get above the ledge, and yeah, the worst possible angle. And there we go. We're right back into wolf. So I wonder if it's just more stage pen than anything. Could be a stage pen thing. I have seen him play Fox on the stage today, although okay, just because um, it's not always stage pen's character and stage dependent too, which once again basically yeah, it could be that. That push off <laughs> was so good for ZD. So I had a few hard reads on all. Oh, that got you got the Zell punch. Yeah, that I'm surprised that reached. But then he's magically jumping off the ground with that. He be leaping. Yeah, but I had a few reads on Ultimate's meta in the past. One read I'd like to put out there now is body block. Like it's our, we already kind of see that inadvertently with a few characters like Sephiroth and Wario in a few situations. Like uh, at, I want to say UFA uh, TV gluttony after a body block. But with characters with awful tech chases, you can body block them and then just push them to a very bad part of a hitbox if you have something like Wolf's Down Smash and covers both sides. So clip that, and in a year, play it back to me when I'm right, anyway. <laughs> That's a lot of damage, even if it's not going to take much more to kill him. Like we saw there, that dash actually going to take it. 53% on Wolf is quite a bit, especially when he starts getting, evening up the game off a really random hit. Yeah, you took him right into 69% just off the bat. And ZD, I like that. That was so bold. It was, yeah. The peanut shielded it, probably would have been in the position to kill him. Totally, totally. But the thing that really messes people up against Mac is that they play too safe. Sometimes you have to make sure the Mac player is willing to, like, you know, actually respect you. I think one of the best examples of that, we talked about playing too safe. That was nice. good, that was good. Was that when in season four, Actually, literally, that was a year ago. Season 4 of 2021. ZD had a losing record on Peanut. And he made a tweet saying, like, what, what is the counterplay of this character? It's obviously not camping. Uh, it's, not, you know, it's not like just playing lame or whatever. Um, and I think it, sh it shows now the difference of how ZD is playing now versus Peanut. Which is, you know, they're playing defensive. They're definitely playing more defensive. But he's not letting Peanut just walk all over him. You know who told him that? This guy right here. He didn't listen to me at first, but, I'll, but then he came around. Yeah. But, yeah. I feel like that is also, I feel like, I'm not even sure if this is just an alternate problem. This sounds like a fight. Okay, general human problem. Uh, if it's not the solution you immediately want, people don't listen to it. Oh, yeah. You have to, if you really want someone to listen, you have to tell them and then wait about three to six weeks for that to kind of digest and then ask them about that situation and then see what if they say the thing that you told them before. Yep. <laughs> yep. Also I've been working with one younger players for a while and that's always how it goes. That shield of soul, that's going to be some damage going on for Peanut. And he does, he's one hit uh -oh. from the KO punch. That laser might have been kind of ill-advised, honestly. That What? Missing... <laughs> You're so lucky. That's damage on the board, for, though, for Peanut. And honestly, whatever ZD does here could be he up smashed. Yeah. That go to air dodge back. Still alive, getting hit by a sweet spot, but he's going to go out and he's oh. dead. Didn't, I think oh. he tried to catch. Uh, I think he anticipated, first of all, a counter from Peanut. Mm -hmm. 
And if ZD did get that up B out, Peanut didn't, A wouldn't have had the drift. Because again, that kind of just stops you in your tracks. And the counter would have been active, so it would have hit him. I think by the time he, reali he realized that Peanut was on stage, uh, or got by him, it was too late. Yeah, he was in between two thoughts. Or I'm just going too far deep into it, and he simply just... His brain wasn't working as fast as his fingers. Mm. It's one of those times where it's like, you get yourself in a mental headspace where it's like, okay, I have to full send this for it to work. And then, like, there's still an opportunity for you to tap out because the situation changed, but you did switch gears fast enough. Yep. So, Peanut up 2 1. About to, or I have reset point right here, actually. And we, the PS2 is typically, uh, you know, typically where we spend our Tuesday, Friday uh, evenings. But we haven't been seeing it as much today in general. Because like, I was talking about, it's kind of rare that we see ZD counter pick. Mm. Typically, he's like, sure, go wherever, and insert player goes wherever. Uh, Peanut's gone to the point where you can't do that versus him. Because if you let him go wherever, he's just going to beat you on insert random stage of the day. Yep. That for some apparent reason is very good in that one matchup. Um, and ZD actually has to think with his counter picks now because sometimes he just gets steamroll steam roll on PS2 and Peanuts won't, Peanut will just take full advantage of that. But I think nice. his back kicks of MDSR. Mm. I imagine, I don't think he won here uh, game two. He won game two on town, I'm pretty sure. Yes, yes. Good. Yeah. So obviously f couldn't go back and... Hey, you're right. He's protoing right now. Yeah, yeah. That seems to be the strat. We'll see how it pans out. Because right now, final stock already. And this game, these games are going by quick. I expected nothing less from these two characters and these two players. But even still, seeing it in action, these guys are scrapping. I want to say we've seen the that was a really good weight, but that counter is ill-advised, and that lead is just kind of not there right now. Yeah, quickly fallen by the wayside and quickly absolutely obliterated. And now final stock. Pina at reset point. He needs to get some momentum quick. And there we go. That parry could open up the gates, but ZD jumping out real quick. Yeah, unsafe on hit to where he can't get anything off it. Yeah. You're going to be able to just jump out of it and now can put it in the uh, cyclone of just random wolf thing. No, random, random foxing and a random fox thing. Mm -hmm. But like it works this. every time because they know their combo routes. Yeah. Wow. Good grab. Yeah. You need that, but okay. What will Peanut do? The KO punch is there. Peanut running at you with KO punch is so scary. ZD, again, we saw that in the previous set they played. Just willing to bet it all on the dash attack, and it gets the job done. That's and because be of it. that, that brings us to a game number five. ZD, when all the chips are down, something I love about his play is that he will bet on himself. And he's right most of the time. Yeah, You've that's seen confidence. He's, he's just a confident player. Uh, Someone call it cocky. I would say it's about 50-50 both, if we're being honest with Depends ourselves. on how good he's playing that day, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Peanut scratching his head, obviously, needs to find an answer for how ZD was just playing that last, his last few socks. Mm -hmm. And now this. We this ended is up on FD. Big gamble. Because something, something, Mac. FD. I think that is one of the most BS statements these days, especially with how good uh, some players have got on FD. Mm -hmm. I think Mac gets boxed out really easily from, against certain characters. He gets sometimes he's not able to land and get in. That's, yeah. But also in this specific, not even matchup, player matchup, you're letting Z to go to FD. In fact, you're you're taking him to FD. You're not just letting him go. That's why I was surprised. It was like it wasn't necessarily a Mac on FD thing. It's like I'm surprised either player let either player <laughs> end up here. That's like, the weird part. Like we know Peanut for his platform play, so he let going to FD is a bold choice, and it's showing right now why that is a bold choice to say the least. Yeah, already open up big, and Peanut trying to do it right back to him. He's not going to get as much off the exchange because he has to tap out after the up B, and he didn't trust. He didn't quite trust it. And once he had the late hit dash attacks. I love what Peanut does with a little pivot um, side special right there. It's kind of getting the perfect spacing to, you know, make some magic. Next damage on the board. Up smash probably won't take it from Mac. S smash at the ledge definitely would. Or he actually has to get that. That'll smash. 
No, I think that was angled. Yeah, yeah. angled Either way, smash. taking the stock, and he's close to a KO punch. The problem is he actually has to land the damage and not die immediately after he gets it. Yeah, let's say, if he wants to scale punch, he has to get it on his terms, because if ZD gets one hit here, yeah. That's one more hit is gone. Yep. Why are you standing there? You're so bold. Why are you still there? You're so bold. Just gonna laser, just, just laser him and just react to the fact that he's gonna have to run it at some point. Oh. That's it. Is that going, invisible going footstool? I don't think so. But that's the stock. And betting it all in black, probably not the wisest decision. It feels like he does have ZD. Oh, wait. This is huge. This actually uh -oh. could be the stock off the edge guard. He has to up B, but then again, Fox has to fire Fox. And, oh, yeah, he gets the auto canceled. There's going to be some big damage right here. I think he gets another up there. He's going to jump out, but air dodging back, and ZD committing to him in the different move. So, Z honestly, Peanut is like really lucky. ZD just decided to commit full commit there. That may take it. Oh, that was 1% off. I guarantee that was 1% off. And that, so any smash attack will definitely take it. Like, stale? No, not that stale. And 41%. So you're a bit further from last time, you know, when you honestly about like two hits away from KO Punch. I feel like if ZD gets a hit and puts Pino on the ledge, then that's game. Because yeah, I don't think he's going to get KO Punch. He got the hit face in the wrong way, though. Pino has one more chance, one last opportunity to touch the ground. It's dash all attack. nothing here. Oh, actually, that's going to yeah. put him in kill percent. That that's is... It. That is it, and that is the bracket reset. <laughs> Sheesh, Peanut knows how to keep this game exciting. And so there we go. We talked about uh, banging all in black in the second stock. This time it's time to bet it all in red, not going in for the if it hits, it hits one, and just saying, I got to go for it in this specific room. I got to apply this pressure because if I let it go back, if I reset here, you're having ZD reset back to the neutral. Yep. That's the thing about gambling. If you bet it all again, it'll surely work at least once. 93% of gamblers quit while they're ahead. Exactly. Before, before they reach uh, jackpot. Never <laughs> quit gambling, kids. Never. Please, please do not do get not. into gambling. <laughs> it, is, <laughs> it is. Don't get into gambling with money that you can't afford to lose, I should say. All I'm saying is sometimes sticking to Dave and Buster's coin slots is not the worst idea. Exactly, exactly. If the worst thing you lose is like maybe $5 and like you get a SpongeBob plushie, then you're chilling. Yeah. Uh, we, Domo is a friend, uh, another Mac, another Mac player, one of Peanut's Twitch mods. We me hung out the other day, uh, and he just made a tweet like, I'm seeing Nick Gamble's life savings on Dave and Buster's <laughs> coin slots. Hey, that's safer than the alternative. Just keep it there, not in Vegas, man. Yeah, and that's gonna be stock. <laughs> Easy, yep. I think ZD tried to like maybe buffer a roll or something. I saw the shield flicker for just a second. But I think he wasn't slow. anticipating KO punch, honestly, because once again, Peanut, not known for just raw KO punching, typically gets a confirm into it. Mm -hmm. So ZD, hey, ZD getting a little bit too uh, certain about the wrong I think. Yep. I mean, like, when you get so used to playing smart, like, Sometimes you have to have the wisdom to know when to do something stupid. Yeah. And we started back on PS2, so you know, in neutral stage, ish. Not really. I'm a. I, I'm gonna be a lying if I'm if I say the stage is neutral for both these characters. Mm. But that gear punch is on the board. That's yeah. ZD. Oh. Cannot land on that platform and he knows it. The upbeat clipping. Yep, just clipping barely above ledge. Looking for that near and up smash. Yeah. Once he touched the ground there and ZD stood still, I don't know if there was a way out. I think he was just reacting. Oh, so we've been seeing a lot of missed texts from uh, Peanut today. Could just be, you know, one of those uh, things of your timings are me messed up, different game, blah, blah, blah. Um, kind of first forgetting certain things at first, certain moments. There's the armor coming through. I think Loki, I think Pina might be trying to flicker his shield to parry in those situations, and I'm wondering if ZD is going to start Tomahawk and Little Mac as the set goes on. There's drag down no tech, though, and you don't have a jump. Yeah. Curtains, good night. ZD taking game number one pretty dominantly. I wonder if since so ZD went back up, if using neutral B there would have given him enough distance to get hit by it. Probably not, because I think, probably not, but it's interesting to think about, because mm -hmm. it's not like one of the things where you can do do A, then do 
B gives us how much lag is in. But you can't do KO punch and instantly air dodge in to get hit by it. Like, it's just a, at that point a commitment to whatever you do. And either way, it's Mac off stage without a jump or a side B. Yep. Yep, yep. And we all know how that story ends. It's not good. But hey, this uh, Hollow Bastion pick has been doing you know, pretty well in general. Mm. Not just today, but that up throw is not safe on hit. Not at all. Not that early for that. Oh, oh my god. Sheesh. That is Oh, dead. sheesh. P Zini's pissed about how last that went. I can feel it. You could. Good call out with that grab there. Knowing that Peanut is not really one to full commit good tech. He's yeah, not he one to that. fully commit to a jab. Especially if it doesn't connect at first. Hmm. Right, Peanut just dash dancing on that platform, knowing that if he can land an up tilt on there, then it'll be goodbye to that stock. But another strong up E, and now these guys are just kind of throwing those moves out there. And they're connecting for what it's worth. Yeah, nope, but no more KO punch on this stock for right now, at least. Who knows? Could be increasing another one down the line. Sure. However, I would say with how early ZD has been getting these stocks now consistent, don't put your money in anything happening. The thing is. Oh, what the hell are we doing, guys? What the hell was that? <laughs> but the thing is, if Peanut can get the hits in, yeah. I was going to say, a KO punch could be on the table, but the moment the F-Smash come through, something broke in in just the flow of this game. Yeah, and that's... Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So unlucky. Uh -oh. Even the slight, just the slight interruption in that upbeat was enough to uh, break the flow of it, and Z gonna take that stock without a losing a second. Yeah, this is looking worse and worse for Peanut by the second. So I don't, I don't think, yeah, I'm saying this very loosely. I don't think the stages are making as much as a de of like a deal as they could be. You know, I think it's legitimately just how well each player is playing that first stock. I think the first stock just develops, just changes. What the <laughs> hell? That almost took me out of my seat. <laughs> who, who does who, that? Who dash grab? Who With dash grab? Full screen round star dash grab against Little Mac. What the hell? That should, if you do that, it should just cut to game. Okay. I, we, <laughs> if, I, I'm, if I get home and I can make a Twitter banger, check my Twitter tomorrow at, 12, at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time. I, I am not lying when I say I damn near fell out of my seat. Oh, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> See, you get too cocky, and then you die to a KO punch. Mm -hmm. That's the max thing to keep in your mind when you're playing against him. Confident, not cocky. When you play confident, you can make big plays. When you play cocky, uh, this happens to you, and you start doing unsafe stuff, and then you probably die here, actually. Landing on stage is a bold uh, play using side B because they don't cross up anymore in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, and to my knowledge, at least, Boxes is not as safe as Falcos. I'm pretty sure Falcos is like minus three on shield in the air. I don't think Foxes is that safe. It feels like Falco can usually like pop up faster, yeah. Yeah. But either way, that's just going to be. That's giving uh, Peanut a little bit of more of a uh, buffer pad to just play his game and figure stuff out without. Uh, spending too much time worried about what just happened, you know? Because mm -hmm. we're not, uh, that's, if he went that was through, dangerous. that's not dead. Oh, he connected it. My bad. I was wrong. Not enough rage on the board for it to shoot deep into the air. And despite how that game started, I mean, somehow, some way, Peanut stabilized in a huge fashion and was able to take that game right back. Let's see, let's see. I don't know what stage you went to, but I do know unless Peanut Bandit, PS2 still is now available because he lost on Hollow Game 2. I feel like the end of that last, or the start of that last game was one of those things that you save in your pocket until like the, you can win the set off of it. Because there are some times where like, you make a read that's so big and your, your opponent still has time to adjust, they'll just play around that. That's like kind of their wake-up slap. That route start grab was just Peanut's wake up snap saying, hey, I am doing this too much. I need to play like me again. And he did just that for the rest of that game. 
That's stock. Yeah, he burned his oh. double jump. Oh, Did, still able to make it. I thought he was going to go for the side B off that. But either way, going to stay alive. That's... Honestly, yeah, no, going for the KO punch off that hit probably would have been the worst decision, but he fast fell. Yeah, I was going to say, he looked a little too low. Even then, the risk of getting hit by that falling, uh, the, not falling the side B as he recovered. Because, you know, Max doesn't really have an option to go anywhere around it. So you have to just wait it out and pray you can make it back. And obviously wasn't praying hard enough because he definitely didn't. If he had down smash, he would have died. He still could die. Does he have a jump? No, he has to use side beat, which, you know, if, if he's side being that high up, he is, like, scrambling. He's scrambling, and we're seeing that right now. Well, it looks like, honestly, pretty even way to start off this game. Just really quickly turn to, to reverse what we saw uh, last time in game three. Yep, yep. And now ZD at tournament point right here. Pina back to the wall. Great spacing on that dash back from the forward, or forward air right there, but, like, he can't afford to really be bled out. He has to take trades or really scrap in, in order to get ahead. ZD, uh, if you're Peanut, at most you can take two more hits from ZD, like two more total hits, not like neutral interactions or anything. Two hits total. Yeah. Is there anything that yeah, totals yeah. below 50%? Like this, and just like that, he's back in it. And he's closer to KO Punch than uh, ZD would like. And also, he's getting a bit trigger happy on that up B. ZD, what the? <laughs> that shouldn't have worked. Actually, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you're so lucky. It almost looked like his tumble and animation. Just like that. It almost looked like his tumble animation made the up tilt whiff. Yeah, no, I mean, that, that's one of the things I'm talking about with, like, uh, I'm not sure remember Ultranus versus uh, Light. Ultranus missed in game three, missed a K punch, I would have taken the stock. Purely because of the. <laughs> That, that you are the main character. Right, You're the main character. Right side, <laughs> right side, Powden City is a peanut fan. Do you remember Diet Soda? Do you remember Diet Soda versus Peanut in at Glitch? No. Wait, that's the the, the, the one with the uh, the cloud player. Okay, okay. When the when the platform came in last second yep. to help the recovery, that right side of Powden City loves Peanut. <laughs> oh my God! You are the main character of the evening. You like, you have the plot armor. Okay. They, it just wants him to win. Yeah. You know, uh, it's been so long. They miss it. But we're going back to PS2. So, pretty sure it's where we saw game one happen. And the Fox pick coming back out. Where we saw game five last time with the Fox. Really, once again, you know, one off for gambling it all in red. Mm -hmm. And the Fox hasn't been doing bad this set. We, I'm pretty sure it has lost more than the Wolf has. But it's still not doing bad, but it has to. It has to find some sort of stability right now. Desperately. I mean, ZD starting, you can see in the player cam, starting to reel with the hits a little bit. He's a big punish here. Brilliant read on the second back air. And look at how much damage that set up for. That was so smart. And the dash attack. I would say, Peanut landing offstage probably actually hurt. It means he didn't get the punish. It looked like he tried to parry that. I think he did. I think I, in either way, that shield wasn't there anymore. That's facts. Actual facts. That was the best smash tech you could do at the time. Getting armoring through it, and there we go. Finally getting hit out of that KO punch. Is he the only taking 13, basically 14% along the way? Hmm. He's good for now, but like, you never want to be even against Lil Mac. You always want a pretty sizable lead. Oh, that is, that's a training room combo. We're not gonna get, uh, not gonna get it fully. And that was a fish, and he, nice. So that is gonna get hard punished. But, hey, look at that. Yep. He yep. has it, but in the worst possible position. Making it back, though. What are you going to get off the ledge? Yeah, you can't risk the gazelle punch. CD has been punishing the jumps or the jumps into instant action off ledge. There Bro. it is. The back hit of uh, back hit of up tilt. I'm not sure if that works with the front. Because once we're talking about how some, with some moves that you have a less, you tend to less end lag because you finish off, finish the move off. Yep. I'm later hit. Later hit. The later hit of it. I'm just saying, though, up smash could have actually hit if the ZD went to ledge there. Because there was a st the starting hitbox hits the ground. It's very small, but there's the chance. Yep. But e and either way, unsafe, unsafe combo. All right. It's now final sock game number five. Probably the fastest game five I've ever seen. 
fastest game 10 I've ever seen. And now it's still anyone's game as Z starts to rack it up a little bit more, tries to punch that landing, but Pina rolling back in center stage, and he's just trying to fish for those up tilts that have done him so well in this game 10 set. That was a really good, he knew it, he knew it. Mm -hmm. And went back to scramble situations. This Nair is, for ZD, is either gonna screw him over so hard because of the... That's... Oh, that could be it! No, no, not connecting. He jumps out. He has to respect the ledge. He's able to get that up air, though. Now ZD trying to punch the landing. KO punches online, but it won't be a factor. And will that be it? That is it, because ZD clutches it out. I'm telling you, at the 11th hour, my man always bets out himself, and that's why he's taking grand finals home today, Nick. It was the Nair. It was the Nair. <laughs> it was the Nair banging on the Nair there. Because, once again, if he, if that parried, I think he was staying enough that Peanut could have gotten the uppie out. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, not going to do it. In that up smash, we, we knew what was going to happen the second their hit. Like, let's be honest with ourselves. Yeah, yeah I just wasn't 100% sure if it would kill, but, like, at the end of the day. It did. Yeah, it did. And that's why ZD is taking home first place for the evening. So, with that, that'll be about it for the tournament today, Nick. I mean, mm -hmm. it was a pretty good run. It was a really good bracket today. It was a bit of a smaller one. Say, but, like, what? Four, PR, five, four or five PR players, at least, at least two other PR contenders. Uh, the Arcadian prospects of this Arcadian, if you will. Facts coming up just next month. Yep. Anyways, uh, I'm going to quickly, once again, sh uh, shout myself out. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch, YouTube. Uh, I do have a... I just pinned a new tweet. If you could check that out, it's an announcement for a tournament invitation I'm running, and I really would appreciate all the support I could get on it. I put a lot of work in it, and shout out to KML and Nixia, who have been helping out with a lot with it. And yeah, that's it. Uh, how about for you? Um, you can follow me on the sinking ship that is twitter.com at jdog926. Um, I, yeah, it's it's a wild ride. Um, I need to put up a link to some other socials just in case Twitter gets uh, Thanos in the next couple of weeks. We'll see. We'll see. But you know what? I'm still uh, going to be here. You can always find me here pretty much every Tuesday night regardless. So.